New at six, trouble in our jails. Two different attorney generals of Alabama have rejected interpretations of a state law that allows sheriffs to personally profit from taxpayers' dollars meant to feed people in jail. Well, tonight we hear from the executive director of Alabama Appleseed Center for Law and Justice. That's just one of two human rights groups suing 49 Alabama sheriffs. WFF 48 Leah Jordan has been digging into the lawsuit today. And Leah, the 49 sheriffs are being sued over not complying with open records laws. Right, basically the two human rights groups are demanding sheriffs produce records showing whether and if so by how much they've personally profited from taxpayer dollars meant to be used to feed inmates. The groups say they started asking for these records more than six months ago. Today, 49 sheriffs in Alabama have yet to comply with their legal obligations to hand over those records. Right now it's unknown just how much money the sheriffs across the state have taken from food funds because most don't report what they take as income. Several sheriffs here in the Tennessee Valley are named in that lawsuit. That includes Lawrence, Franklin, Jackson, Lauderdale, Marshall, Culber, and Coleman County sheriffs. For now, Alabama Appleseed Center for Law and Justice is investigating, and their executive director tells me every Alabamian should be concerned. It is not the, the privilege of government officials to decide if and when they are going to comply with that basic transparency requirements. Um, so if, if we don't have access to these records or you know any information that's available under FOIA, then we lack the ability to hold our government accountable. And I think that's something that all Alabamians should be concerned about. He says additionally, this is about basic human dignity and human rights. Nax says the fact that we have sheriffs allegedly putting personal profit over providing basic needs for people under their care is concerning. Reporting in the newsroom, Leah Jordan, WAFF 48 News.